it's not that the stock market is at the lowest it's been for the year. Wait until you see the data that's bigger than that. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Wealth Transfer. My name is Terry Saka. I am the Chief Strategist. Uh, and before we get going, I know we have a lot of data here that uh, shows the lows of the stock market. I know it's on the heels of the trading uh, wars that we're having, but it's bigger than that, folks. It's not that the president is just picking fights with everyone. He knows that the Russians and the Chinese have been systematically tearing down the dollar's reserve status and he has to do this now while we still have some authority in the world. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but before we get going, I do want to say hello to all those that are first time uh, viewers. And I want to say how you can get a hold of us. Uh, you can go to cornerstoneassetmetals.com, of course, for any of the needs of gold and silver or protection preservation of your uh, retirement. You go to wealthtransferministries.org, of course, to capture all these shows. Uh, Cornerstone also has a live TV section that has these shows for education as well. I also encourage you go to Facebook, uh, go to Cornerstone Asset Metals in Facebook. A good thing about that is in the Facebook section of Cornerstone Asset Metals, please like us. Uh, I think it, I don't know if it's like, subscribe, however that works in social media. Uh, go there and like us, subscribe. Uh, you're going to like it because what we do in the Facebook is we do news feeds off the Twitter which you can catch me at Twitter, Terry Saka, AAMS. If anything, I try to do very relevant in between the line uh, news feeds uh, that will give you guidance as to what's coming. Because even though things seem really good in the economies and in the state of affairs for the most part, I think you'd be real surprised at what the data is saying. So do keep that in mind. Come and visit us, come and like us, and uh, we look forward to, to seeing you. So in the market system, we have what we call the lows going on right now uh, in the stock market. It is up and down. I know it's volatile. They're trying to say, as your advisors anyway, they're trying to say, it's just the trade war. It'll be over soon. Don't worry about it. Folks, the data says extremely the opposite. And one thing that I finally decided to get into, for a while there, I've been kind of almost defensive to the idea of what we were getting across to the kingdom what we were trying to teach the kingdom because things were doing well. Um, you know, I think President Trump is doing an absolutely unbelievable job in many, many, many ways. And it's given us a kind of a sigh of relief as well as <sighs> confidence that things are going to move in the right direction. Problem is the data says very different and it has nothing to do with the president or the direction of our country. This has to do with the global financial melt up I call it, or parabolic state, because we've printed literally trillions and trillions and trillions of currencies globally, and we've added 150 trillion in debt, and we cannot underestimate that. So no matter how good things seem, we are going to go through an epic reset in the financials. There is something coming that is larger than we've ever seen before, probably will never see again, and my guess is if unfortunately it's not managed properly, we'll probably see this stock market come off in a way that it may not go back for a while. So you just have to understand the nature of parabolic, meaning it's blowing off to these high heights, but it's not sustainable because of all the global pressures we have. And wait till you see this data, I'm gonna get into it. So just to kind of start off, I wanna go into the Dow Jones Industrial Index. Now these are monthly bars. Uh, I'm just showing you the trend line because I want you to see the two danger zones that have been established. Uh, the one danger zone that violated the uptrend line uh, in the early 2000s is the uh, major crash, or as they call just great recession, of the uh, 2008 crash. Of course, once it violated that uptrend line, we saw a massive correction. We then have another uptrend line established ever since the election. Uh, and since the election, we've had um, a big, well, pretty much a 40, almost 50% increase in the markets. 
Uh, problem is that uptrend line has been violated and we've entered into the danger zone. And the bigger one down on the bottom of this graph is you can see 116 year RSI, relative strength index, it's at a 100 year high. Meaning folks, the bottom line is we have over expanded and inflated regardless if we feel like it's ready or not, uh, the data is gonna tell us quite differently. One thing we have to keep in mind, uh, as used to be in the options and futures trading business, I used to be in that business, and if you, the real pros anyway, they trade the Greeks of the options. Meaning, these indicators tell them that the underlying stock price is ready to move. These traders hit that, of course, and they buy and sell, buy and sell quickly, make a lot of money at it, while you, of course, take it on the chin if you're not paying attention uh, because you buy and hold. So these indicators are real. These indicators we're seeing now are global. All I'm saying is I am more than confident than I've ever been that we in America, regardless of President Trump's excellent uh, policy-driven ideas, I think they're designed to help us come out of this big global reset that's coming. I think it's, it's going to be uh, beneficial to us, we the people, uh, but we're still going to go through it. And my goal at Cornerstone and Wealth Transfer uh, Ministries was to get the kingdom prepared for what I believe is going to be a once in a lifetime, something we haven't really seen anyway. Now, a lot of you that are uh, more from the baby boomer generation, you may have seen some of this back in the 60s to 70s, uh, but keep in mind, it's coming, and this is bigger because the debt load is extraordinary, and we have to keep that in focus. Now, one of the key questions on the dollar trade itself is this one here. How far will the Fed take shooting the hostage, we call it, as far as Volcker did? And Volcker, for those of you that remember, is back in the 70s. No one thinks it's possible, uh, but it might be necessary. Now, if we notice here, and in, in this, this is the 10-year, two-year spread on the Treasury. But look what we had in the 90s, 2000s, and then in 2008. On the bottom, when those blue lines crossed the black line, down on the bottom. Every time we crossed over, we entered into a recession and, of course, the 2008 collapse. Right now, we are on a massive trajectory to get, in, we're getting ready anyway, to violate that on the bottom, which means we're getting ready to enter into something pretty substantial. So keep that in perspective because we would call that shooting the hostage because we're holding the valuations of that hostage. Uh, so do understand that, if anything, the bigger money, as we call, or the smart money, it moves. And folks, I used to work with A.G. Edwards. I've had a Series 7, which is a financial advisory license. I'm an accredited asset management specialist. I have a 6365 financial license, as well as a uh, Series 3, which is commodities. And I can only tell you, at A.G. Edwards, 140-year-old financial, they taught us that this cycle that we're in, we, they get the people, the traders buy in at the bottom. They get you to come in, and at the very top, the traders are selling into we the people. And that's a, a very, I mean, 140-year-old cycle. They, the smart money, is selling. So I want you to keep this in perspective. If the, the goal of your retirement account is to double your money, now, Many people say, well, I don't want to double money. I just want to not lose. Well, be good stewards of your money. Go to the parable of the talents to keep that in focus because if you don't want the extra money, give it to the churches and the ministries and help those around you. But if you want to double your money, to do that in the stock market, you're going to have to see 50000 on the Dow. And folks, we're already below the Dow, almost at the Dow's lows for the year. So it's not going up, it's going down. So I don't think that's going to happen. Then gold has to go to $2,600 an ounce. It hasn't been there. It doesn't mean it can't, but it's a little more work. Yet silver has been at 32, which will be double the price, 10 times over the last 10 years or so easily. So what's more probable? 
So it's very important to be in the right place at the right time. And one place that you can get protected and preserved is right here. So pay attention, write this information down, and we'll be right back. Buying power, what does it mean to you and your family? Have you noticed the prices of everything we buy are rising? Goods and services are becoming more expensive and the money you work so hard for buys less and less and less. If you save $250,000 in cash in the 1960s, that cash today would be worth approximately the same, $250,000. Yet does it have the same buying power today? No, not even close. Now take that same $250,000 from the 60s saved in silver instead of cash. Today, it would be worth a staggering $4.25 million. Now that's buying power. Protect and preserve your buying power now by rolling over a portion of your IRA into a silver IRA. Use the power of constitutional money silver to protect your standard of living in retirement and maintain the quality of life you are hoping for. The paper dollar you are saving has tremendous challenges ahead, so don't delay. Call Cornerstone Asset Metals now at 888-7 3309 Don't give away your hard-earned savings any longer. Be diversified. Get protected today. Welcome back. So one thing I also want to uh, have you think through as you're educating and contemplating uh, what's taking place with your retirement money, remember. Now, the reason we're so passionate here at Wealth Transfer is because we know the kingdom with what's coming. If we're not properly protected or preserved or properly diversified into hard, tangible assets, I don't care about the naysayers, they're going to be wrong. Silver is going to have an unbelievable price adjustment only because this paper money worldwide is going through a reset. This stuff's fake and you have to keep that in perspective. It is losing tremendous, tremendous buying power and I shouldn't have to really say that because you're buying things with it and you're realizing it doesn't go nearly as far. But we are entering the territory where we were very similar to the 2008 time frame. And for many of you in 2008, can you only imagine if you had gotten out before the crash, repositioned yourself into something like tangible asset silver, you, instead of losing 40% at the time, and then having to take all these years to get break and even again, which by the way, you didn't, because the value of your dollar you were holding in the stock market doesn't buy the same. But in 2008, instead, if you would have got out early enough at the top, and you would have went in and bought the tangible asset, your portfolio would have went up hundreds of percent. So for a $250,000 portfolio, you would have been close to a million dollars during that cycle. Instead, your $250,000 went down to probably $150,000 and you had to fight back. Wouldn't you want to be ahead of the curve this time? Something to keep in mind, and that's just about right now. And don't worry about being perfect on the timing. All I know is it's about peace of mind, and this data speaks for itself. This is known as smart money. Smart Money Flow Index. And the reason I like this is that smart money is bailing out at rates not seen since the Great Depression. I mean, I'm sorry, the last recession, which was 2008. If you notice there in the middle to left, the biggest smart money outflow was in 2000 and then in 2008. Isn't that interesting how the smart money gets out ahead of time? Just as I explained to you with A.G. Edwards, Look at where the red line is now with the smart money. Isn't that staggering? They're coming out. This does not lie, folks. Smart money is bailing. If the smart money's bailing, I highly recommend you join them with diversifying yourself. And of course, diversifying intangible assets would be the way to go. Now, for indicators, not just in America, because mind you, I really believe America is doing phenomenally better. We have tremendous social trouble. Uh, that Maxine Waters is an absolute psychopath. I believe she's inciting violence against the administration in ways that uh, as soon as it goes physical, I think she needs to be arrested for incitement and violence goes both ways. I think they're agitating these socialists on the left to such levels 
that we could potentially start to see radical civil war violence towards one another, and it's absolutely horrible. I think the left is, is just despicable in the way they approach things. You could disagree, but at least we love one another as a nation and as American people. And I just think that's horrible. Uh, immigration is an obvious no-brainer. We have 100 million people not working. We have 700,000 in backlog immigration cases for the judges. Maybe we ought to just stop immigration 100% altogether for a while until this backlog gets there. You see, the arguments don't exist because socialism is making its move because they're threatened because we, the free people of the United States, the patriotic, the constitutional, the capitalist, are winning again and winning tremendously with uh, Trump tax policies, bringing back uh, manufacturing and so forth. So we are seeing some real serious social underpinnings that I believe is designed as distraction for what is coming. They do not talk about the positive, and when the negative hits, it's going to pile on and cause so much friction. I am positive and believe that if we, the people in the kingdom, are properly diversified, protected and preserved in the right place, especially with tangible assets, folks, if you understood the constitutionality of this money and the biblical source that this is God's money, you would feel a lot more comfortable for the future of what's coming because you won't have to be so concerned about being in fake paper world, right? Now, around the world, they're already entering what we call death crosses. And that's when you've got these averages crossing over one another, the 200 and the 50 and such, and the, you see the markets start to come down. Now, one of the big ones is China. China has entered in their stock market a death cross, where we are seeing the crossover 200 to 50, as you see from the red over to the blue, and look at their markets as it has, of course, started collapsing. Now, this is China. Yes, a lot of this has to do with the trade war, but folks, China is deeper in debt in what we call shadow banking. Shadow banking is all these alternative financial companies underneath the banking system that uh, we also have in America, of course, shadow financing. And it is huge in China. I mean, China has built cities nobody lives in, bridges to places that don't go anywhere. They have gone through an unbelievable expansion. Problem is, they're starting to feel the heat. So there's trade wars on purpose because China, Trump, the president, knows China and Russia are coming after the dollar's reserve status. And it's been going on all the way back to Obama and before in the Middle East. Obama was just an abysmal failure because I believe he generally wanted this country to go down into the socialist mode. Problem is, now that we've got a true business person in charge, he's looking at it saying, we're getting ripped off, which we have been, of course. It's not just China. The raising of the interest rates that are going on, and I believe only so they can lower them when the time comes. The emerging markets. Now, we call them emerging markets. Back in the day, we'd call them, you know, trash countries, or what do we call them, third world countries, mainly because they're banana republics, they're corrupt at the highest levels, and this is important. So keep in mind that even in the emerging markets, which we call the third worlds, but it's important because these third worlds, we put so much money around, dictates the global economy as well, because it's called hot money. Money flows from these groups of countries as it moves around, as some go down, the money moves and goes in. Now, I believe right now we're seeing money being forced to the United States. Getting protected is paramount. Being educated is essential. Preserving the wealth that God has entrusted with you during these times, regardless if it seems like it's better. Folks, financially, there's a reset coming. And you want to be in tangible assets. I love land. But land is not liquid, and stuff like this is liquid. And right now, being protected is essential. There are operators standing by at Cornerstone. I would give them a call. I would register on the website for information. It takes time 
to transfer a portion of those IRA assets over into a precious metals IRA, it takes time. And there's a really very little to no cost depending on how you structure it. It's a great way to be feel, I would say, a peace of mind and be protected. So uh, one way you can do that, one way you can be protected is right here, and I would take this serious. Terrorism, a volatile stock market, rising food costs, natural disasters. Every day our economy is at risk, but your assets should not be. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked so hard to gain. Whether you have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, our accredited asset management specialists are here to support you. Call now and we'll send you urgent information regarding changes to the dollar and challenges to our economy that you need to be prepared for. Learn how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA. We can even arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or send it directly to your home. Do not delay. Call 888-747-3309 or register online at cornerstoneassetmetals.com today. Invest in precious metals and create security in your future today. Call now. Welcome back. Now we got in the emerging markets or the third world nations, but they're important because money as it's been created through the bond industry is flowing from groups to groups, meaning emerging markets to China, to Europe, to the United States. It's called hot money and it moves around. These are money managers, bond fund managers, things of that nature. Emerging markets are important though because they borrow literally trillions in dollar loans. And now that interest rates are rising, the dollar value rises, even though it doesn't buy the same, right? It's only on paper that it's rising. It's definitely not rising in our ability to buy. But it's, it's something that hurts the emerging market tremendously and forces money to move around the world. So look at this emerging market stock, stock index here. Now, the emerging market stock index here, as you can see, has a death cross as well. Now, this death cross, of course, is, yes, bringing the stock market down. Folks, I can only present the data, and I refuse to stop doing what God has given as a mission, to present this data. I mean, it costs money to come on television, and we're actually expanding into other networks and providing a lot more time. So we've been very blessed, and God has wake, awake, awoken those that need to be to uh, get involved and to support the mission, uh, but it's coming either way. And the good news is for those that are in the right place, it's not a bad thing. For those that are properly diversified and protected, it's not a bad thing. It's actually going to be a wonderful thing for those in the kingdom because we're going to have the resources and the wealth to protect ourselves and to support the mission God has put on your heart. So if anything, being protected is paramount. I have people wanting to get out of hard tangible assets right now. And I'm thinking to myself, that is exactly what A.G. Edwards taught us not to do at the top of a market cycle. So for those that are thinking about getting out of tangibles, going into the market system right now, your stockbroker doesn't know what he's talking about or she. They're fiat. They're trained this way. They don't make that much money, by the way and they're designed to keep you in paper and titleless assets. Don't do it. Be diversified, if anything, because they cannot give you a remote guarantee. In 2008, you think you're getting out of the markets, good luck. It's all stacked against you this time. So the reason this is kind of important over the 2008 to 2018 timeframe, we have not only printed 50 trillion in new currencies we have added 150 trillion in debt meaning bonds and sovereign debts things of that nature and now, by the way on sovereign debt the Russians have been selling their US treasuries and buying gold <laughs> you would be stunned what's going on in the silver market if you just understood the physical supply and what I believe is the Chinese cornering of that physical supply 
and what I think is also a payoff from the U.S. government to the Chinese in precious metal as well. There's so much we can get into, but I just deem that as probably too complicated. I don't want to get too complicated. I want you just to stay focused on properly protecting because, if anything, the data is showing you something's coming. Now, why we know this is a big problem, we were already kind of at a, a point of the fiat system where we've hit our mark, meaning it has to realign. We need a new currency of some kind. Something needs to change. Folks, we've had four new currencies in this country already. This is not unusual. It's just been about 50 years, and so we don't really know, most of us. But look at this unbelievable image, additional global debt per dollar of GDP growth, meaning the gross domestic product growth. In the 1970s, the world added $1 of new debt for each dollar in growth. So it was good. You add debt, you get growth, and it stimulates. It's okay. That's good. But go from the left side of the 70s where it was equal and look at the staggering amount to right now today. We add globally five and a half dollars of debt to one dollar of growth. And do you think that's sustainable? You see, if everybody's adding debt to add some growth, then maybe it's okay. Problem is, the United States has been in this hegemony, this dominance telling the world how to be for so long, there's people that basically want to take us out. And it would be the Russians and the Chinese, and Chinese are good at both sides of the fence. They're your friend and they're your enemy. But it's important because they're coming after this dollar's dominance. And if you don't think so, you just have to look at the data to understand that you're going to wake up one day and you're going to see this collapsing take place and you're going to wish you were protected. So uh, one other way to kind of understand where we sit is how the corporations are behaving. And I thought this was a phenomenal thing to see. Corporations buy back their stock. Now, you may think buying back their stock is a good thing. They're doing so well that they're going to buy back their stock because they're just loaded with money and everything's doing great. That's actually not true. Corporations buy back the stock to keep the prices from falling. Look at this. Right now, today, in 2018, corporations are purchasing upwards of $650 billion in stock. There's a reason they're doing it. It's because we're hitting the peak of this financial cycle. Get protected, be preserved, and wait till next week because we're going to keep on going because we're on a mission here at Cornerstone and Wealth Transfer for we the people coming straight from the Holy Spirit. God bless you.